I'm doing something a little bit different today. So be warned, this is not historical. Um, I do have to do, have to do, I am doing a steampunk event this coming weekend. So I looked in my closet and in all my steampunk clothes, I seem to have outgrown. That kind of sucks. So I went on a sewing room shopping trip to see what I had that I might be able to create a new outfit out of. And of course, y'all seen my shoes. I love these shoes. I think these would be great for a steampunk event. Um, so I wanted whatever to kind of go with my shoes. Shoes in the background. All right, so then I found this piece of fabric. Um, it was kind of a houndstoothy, tiny plaid, um, red tone. The shoes kind of blend in with it. I think it's going to work, so I'm going to make kind of, oh, like a three-quarter length with a bustle over skirt type skirt on it. Um, probably with a white blouse. But then, what do we always see in the steampunk crowd? We need a new corset. And I decided to take a corset pattern that I use and I've made on quite a few occasions. Um, my very own corded corset pattern. I thought, wow, you know, with the straps on the back and the buckles, and I bet I can make this into a pretty good steampunk corset. So I looked around in my closet and I found this. This is a waxed canvas. Um, I have several bolts of it. One time, long time ago, I was at Hancock Fabrics and they had several bolts of this for a very, very reasonable price. And I thought, who doesn't need a whole bunch of waxed canvas? And I bought like three bolts of it. So I've used a couple, I've used like a bolt of it in different items and I've made some bags and some different things and I thought, well, this ought to make, this would make a great steampunk corset. It's got this nice, you know, it kind of gets the distressed look to it. It's got good stiffness and firmness. It does smell like kind of chemically waxed. I don't know, have you ever smelt of a Australian uh, waxed? coat, one of the uh, ones they use for bad weather. It's got that kind of odd smell to it, kind of diesel-y. So it, it feels very mechanical, very, very uh, kind of fun like that. So have my waxed canvas. I found this nice piece and this is lightweight cotton. So it's not actual ticking. It's just a ticking print like a uh, quilting weight cotton. Uh, so it's just printed on one side that I decided to line it with. So there's my fabric. And I got out my corded corset pattern. Um, I figured this is a good one. I don't need an excessive amount of shape shaping. Uh, I like the straps. It gives it uh, with the little buckles here. That'll be a really nice steampunk. It'll kind of look like a vest except for it will lace up and therefore suck me in a little bit because I kind of need to be sucked in a little bit. And so I thought, well, that would be pretty good. So I took my pattern and this is mine and I cut it to my shape. I did a little bit of modifications in my cutting of it. And as you can see, I'm started on the corset. Um, I'm not doing expensive with this. I'm working out of my stash. So I have some of the inexpensive boning, um, that the plastic boning that comes in the channels. And so instead of cording my corded corset, I'm putting boning channels on it and I'm just using the inexpensive boning. I may regret that later. If I do, I can always uh, take off the bottom binding and stick some better boning in there. But this is really, really stiff stuff, the stiff fabric. So I'm thinking it will hold up pretty decently on its own. Now what I did was when I cut the corset pattern, I tapered up to this seam line point. 
So I added about half an inch to three quarters of an inch on top at this point. So it kind of makes a little bit of a heart shape in the front. I think it's going to be a little bit more obvious when it's actually on me. But there's, there's our start. It's going to be lined in this. This is a really quick corset pattern to do up, especially if you're not going to be doing all of the corditing, corditing, corditing. That's a great word. Especially if you're not going to be doing all the cording in it. So it has four pieces, uh, five with the shoulder strap, six if you put the uh, tabs on the back to put a bustle on. If you're doing a steampunk thing, the little putting the little tabs on there with buckles on the back would be really neat to buckle a really fancy little flounce uh, train type thing. You see a lot of that in the steam type punk type stuff. So it has four pieces. It has. Let me find the front too. Um, has two front pieces. Those are sewn together. And has. Two back pieces those are sewn together and once those are both put together then the sides and the fronts will be put back together so all the seams are enclosed all in one fell swoop all of uh, the side seam is done in a flat fell to the outside so you can make any last minute little costuming adjustments and i think this is going to work pretty well so when i get things done i'll give you a little bit of a sneak preview i just thought you might want to know um something a little non-historical I'm working on that had well it's got a little bit of a historic bin but it's not like for historic sites it's more of a Halloween fun type thing and I think I really do think that the corded corset pattern is going to make a pretty darn good steampunk vest so we'll see I'll see you later bye